Hello, everyone. Welcome to Embody Prosperity. This is a retreat designed for women entrepreneurs, for visionaries, leaders, healers, coaches, transformational facilitators, and anyone who's seeking to embody their natural state of prosperity in all facets of business and life. The potent conversations held within this sacred container will act as a portal inspiring new ways of shifting your awareness and elevating your inner frequency so that you can attract the abundance that is your birthright and the abundance that you already are. So today, I'm so honored to have a dear sister of mine join us. I've had the blessing to work alongside uh, the sister for the last good few years. And she's also an amazing coach and summit host and producer who recently created a summit all about the amazing power of the witches called Witches Rise Up. And her name is Emer Sassen. Welcome, Emer. Hello. Thank you for such a lovely welcome. <laughs> I had to welcome you with your, your witches behind you. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> so a little bit about Emer. Emer is a trainer and soul-based coach, writer, and storyteller. In Irish mythology, Emer is said to possess the six gifts of womanhood. Emer sets out to expand and rewrite these ancient stories to bring her fullness and wholeness back in. After graduating from University College Dublin with a master's in business and economics, she enjoyed a 20-year career in corporate financial services, working in Ireland, Australia, and UK. In 2004, she took an internal career change into corporate learning and development, a move which planted the seeds for her future entrepreneurial calling. At the beginning of 2017, she finally listened to the tug of her soul and the whispers of the witches to seek nourishment and expansion out with corporate and dove head first into entrepreneurship. Ah, yes. Yay. Ymir is a qualified group trainer, NLP master practitioner, and certified soul-based coach. This unique blend of who she is empowers her to be a transformational catalyst, guiding clients on deep, poetic, meditative journeys. She helps witches, wise ones, and healers to rise and return to their power. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, you do, Emer. <laughs> so today your talk is called You Are Gold, Awaken with Irish Mythology. And I just love this. I can't wait to get into it. Um, I would love to begin, Emer, with just a little bit for the participants to kind of get to know you. And, you know, before we get in into all the gold talk, maybe you can tell us a little bit about that moment when you you took the leap, you heard the whispers of the witches, you took the leap into entrepreneurship. And, you know, for many of us, I, I don't know this, this journey personally, because that's not my story, but I'm sure there's so many on this call that that may feel that whisper and that tug on their soul. And so maybe if you could just tell us a little bit about that, that turning point in your journey. Yes, yeah, it certainly was a turning point. It was something that had been, well, seeded in in many ways. I knew it had to be my next step. I had looked within my corporate role for other options, you know, and moving up the hierarchy and things like that. It just wasn't what I was looking for. It just nothing felt right, basically. So I, you know, went one way and the other way. And it was like, no, no, no. So then eventually I'm like, oh, my goodness, I have to leave. I know I have to leave. And then I walked with that for quite some time, probably a few months, actually, maybe a year. And then I just knew it was like there was a particular moment when I had been delivering a training course on the fifth floor of the, the training room in the office. And I stepped out and just realized I was standing in the corridor by myself. And it was this moment where I realized, oh, my goodness, I, I'm swimming in the wrong ocean here. And mm -hmm. where is the ocean? I just felt like I, I was parched. I was parched. I was like this lonely dolphin looking for her pod. 
and it wasn't in this location anymore, as wonderful as the people were and everything. And you mentioned the, the whispers of the witches. And I realize now, not then, I didn't realize back in 2017, but I realize now that it was the whispers of the witches calling me out because when I turned my head to the right in that corridor that I was standing in, framed in the big window is Edinburgh Castle, which uh. sits in a, an extinct volcano and is where then a few years after that moment, I would have my witchy experience. Right. So, wow. Yeah, it was really a felt inner knowing, a felt inner sense that it was time to step out. And then it was quite a few micro steps to actually take action on that. Yeah, yeah. But, but you had the courage to do it. And, and I love how more was revealed later, but you just had that felt sense that this is the time, this is the moment that, that I need to find my true pod <laughs> as a lonely yeah. dolphin. I love that. Yeah. <laughs> dolphins where are you <laughs> and with that you know I, I felt I wasn't going to do it the way you know people would then ask like oh what are you going to another job or what are you doing you know because you don't just leave your job do you that's madness and I'm like no I am creating a clearing in the dense forest of my life to quote Martha Postlewaite like okay good luck with that <laughs> you're brave <laughs> stroke crazy so well, yeah. you know and what comes to me is like I feel like you have such a playful personality and and you know dolphins do as well and I just feel like you now get to embody this like your playful nature the storytelling like all that your spirit comprises like you're able to finally like embody your fullness as you know an entrepreneur and so and and I feel that in many ways, many of us as entrepreneurs finally have that freedom too. So, um, yay, we're so happy you said yes to the witches and you are now <laughs> embodying the fullness of who you are. So, Emer, let's talk a little bit about gold. In what way are we gold? <laughs> Yeah, well, this is another experience that actually I could share a, a little story around that. Yes, please. A, a true story. It was actually while I was still in corporate and I just love the way we begin to make these connections in the weave and the spirals of our life. And I was in Dublin. I was actually delivering. I live in Scotland. I was in Dublin delivering a well-being program. <laughs> and after I finished, I must have finished early and some, for some reason, felt I needed to go to the museum and in particular the National Natural History Museum, the archaeology section basically, was calling me in Dublin city centre. And I went in and it's, you know, it's such a, it's a gorgeous building at the back of Trinity College, which is a university, if anyone listening has been to Dublin, and Trinity you know, it's a very symbolic name, of course, and it's where the Book of Kells is, is housed, which is this ancient manuscript, which is so much gold and beautiful drawings on it as well. But that's a story for another day. <laughs> <laughs> and I went to this museum through the giant oak doors and you just feel like a goddess. You know, you feel like a priestess walking in there because it's so solid and grand. And then I made my way to the gold section and gold in Irish is or, O-R. And honestly, it was like my ancestors were singing me home. I could begin to feel this vibration starting in the soles of my feet and just humming, humming its way all the way up through my body until all of me, like I can just feel the tingles now, all of me was humming in resonance to this frequency, to this golden elemental. It was really amazing. And so much so I was looking around like going, can, can anyone else feel this? Can anyone else hear this? <laughs> They're calling us here. The gold is calling us home. Like it was really amazing. And I went from 
exhibit to exhibit and the gold is like it was just made yesterday this beautiful noble elemental from the earth gifted from mother earth and carved and shaped into earrings into these torque necklaces which priestesses would have worn and yeah it's just the most magnificent shields as well coins all of these that have been collected from sacred sites around Ireland and beyond Mm. as well it was just like like new like this ancient new song Wow. Has been sung to me to call me home. It was really magnificent. Mm. <laughs> it's so beautiful. And so, in terms of the gold, like, how does this? I mean, obviously, you know, the gold was calling to you, and it brings us back to our roots. How does it? How do you believe that? this gold helps us to embody our prosperity. I mean, as you were saying, like it brings back that priestess nature. It brings back that, um, that essence of, of, you know, being noble, being regal, you know, crowns, torques, uh, all of that beautiful adornments, adornments. Um, but I know that because I've listened to your I am gold meditation, which was the gift for all the participants, which I highly recommend. I did it last night in the middle of the night <laughs> because Emer was calling me home. I needed to embody my gold. And I know that, you know, gold is first, firstly from you. I know, I know that gold is, it can't be tarnished which is amazing, um, which reminds me of like our soul, right? Our soul can't be tarnished. The, mm-hmm. Our luminosity can't be tarnished. So, but maybe you want to expand a little bit on like how else um, does gold, how do we embody gold? Yeah, I love that. Um So there is the connection with that, of visiting that museum, because that was probably about 2015, 2016. So before I was really consciously considering leaving the corporate world to step into entrepreneurship. And then it was actually one of my leaving presents. Someone gifted me a dream journal, which was to prove to be significant because I began writing down my dreams. And maybe date wise, it was maybe in 2018 or 2019, I had a dream. And in the in the dream, the numbers seven and nine kept coming up. Seven, nine, seven, nine, 79. What is this? Is it, am I to price one of my products at this, you know, at this or what is it? And somehow I connected it to that experience in the Museum of Archaeology and began looking up the elemental properties of gold, and gold on the elemental table, I had to look this up, by the way, I didn't remember it from school, is number 79 wow. on the elemental table. And it's also, it's Latin term, it's called aurum, A-U-R-U-M. And it means to shine brightly, to illuminate. So all these gorgeous meanings. And that's when I started looking into the properties that it is so stable, it doesn't tarnish, it's non-corrosive to most acids, it is noble, it is um, of the earth, from the earth, it is ancient. And with a bit more delving, realised that why all this is found at sacred sites is because the ancients used, well, adorned themselves in gold to, to feel good, you know, to show who they are. And also because of its vibrational properties as a healing mechanism. So the gold was used in these ancient sounding chambers that were created to support healing and to raise our vibrations to the same as the gold. Yeah. 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 That's exactly it. When I was doing your meditation, the I am goal meditation, that's exactly what I felt. I felt that, you know, we were certain you had us circulating our, our, the vibration of gold or gold energy within our system. And it just instantly like elevated my, my, my frequency. And 
And as I was telling you before, I had, I had like a problem that I was trying to figure out prior to this meditation. And as we were being guided into, you know, embodying our gold essence, I started to, to have a different level of awareness when it came to this problem. And the problem be became like I, no longer a problem because solutions began to arise from this different frequency. So it's just, it was so incredible. Like I had my solutions because I began to elevate and really match that frequency of gold as I was circulating it through my body, which is actually another question I had for you, which was, you know, I know that we can't do guided meditations all day long. I know that many of us would, I know I would, <laughs> but like, how, what's, do you have any uh, recommendations for a way to or like a practice or a tool to circulate this energy throughout our systems, like throughout the day? Yeah, I love that question. There's a few ways that come to mind because gold is actually found in our blood. Like there's a proportion of gold. Imagine that. I, I find that so amazing. So it's it's a we can use our imagination, do the meditation or use our imagination to visualize or imagine or feel this golden quality, this color coursing through our veins because it already is so what that's doing is awakening our cells it's humming them back to aliveness to awakeness so that these dormant cells can begin to open up again and vibration support you that's one way another way is mantra i love i love 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 the power of mantra and particularly the i am it seems to be the way it emerges for me, the way I write them. And as simple as reminding yourself, I am gold. Mm. I am gold. I am gold. As my story continues to unfold, <laughs> I am noble. I am in my highest vibration, even if you're not feeling that quite yet. But I am raising to my highest vibration. I am rich. I am timeless. I am ancient. I am gold. Mantras. Make Mantras. your own. Write your own. What feels right and resonant for you. And then if you, if you do happen to have any jewellery or items that represent gold for you, you don't have to go out buying <laughs> expensive gold. Although a few people have said to me, we need to buy gold <laughs> and, <you> know, <laughs> because it's stable. That's why we yeah. you know, invest in gold. So wearing that, adorning yourself with these colors, yellow, gold, orangey, these rich, deep hues of gold. And then noticing what difference that makes for you. Is that helping? Because mm -hmm. we're yes. the alchemist, you know, it's that transforming lead to gold. That's alchemy. Yes. Raising our face to the sun. I'm actually blocking it out here, but look at that. And just feeling the golden sunlight that's been beamed upon us all yes. the time. Yes, yes, yes. My body just <laughs> opens and expands and just wants this. Like it's drinking it in. This is what we need. This is what we need. And it's so simple. Mm -hmm. And also I feel like as we adorn ourselves, as we affirm, as we claim our I am gold, our, I am prosperity, I am wealth, I am abundant. Like as we claim this, we begin to really embody that nature of this this noble regal elevated consciousness and so we begin to make decisions our thoughts begin to align with that frequency of you know thinking and our actions become different right we be, we really start to embody the the ancestors who you know, we're the priestesses and we probably were, you know, I, I believe and no, we were witches, we were priestesses. And that's why it's all throughout my, my copy and in the emails and on the, the website, it's like, this is what we are being called to do right now. The earth is calling us to do this. It's helping her heal. It's helping us heal. I just, I have, you know, goosebumps on the back of my head because 
we're called to step into our prosperity, our priestess nature and our, our true queen essence and then make decisions from that place. And that is that is what embodying prosperity is. So thank you for <laughs> reminding us of this powerful, potent truth that we are gold. Yeah. Yeah. And when you mentioned the queen and the crown, that's something else I like to play with is that even walking out in nature and imagining I've got the crown or even better, if you do have a crown, you know, you're wearing your crown. So you you have to sit up straight or walk straight so the crown stays in place, you know. And there we are wearing our crowns that we are so entitled to. And as you say, then that's our, our vibration raises our whole state is free to be your natural self Mm. in your most powerful native form Mm. i love it i love it so much so emer tell us about if there's any goddess for this season for this this these new beginnings this abundance that's growing we see the little green patches coming alive on the earth is there someone is there a goddess that would like to come through today to maybe share some some insights with our audience oh there sure is <laughs> so bowen is the irish goddess or witch of the spring equinox in the northern hemisphere So on the Celtic medicine wheel, she resides over the easterly direction. So it is this time of newness. We're coming into the spring where the flowers and the buds are just sprouting. And actually, you know, the the spring flowers are all out here now and it's been very warm and it feels so abundant. It feels so beautiful. And her name, it's B-O-I-N-N. Or you may see it written as B-O-A-N-N. And Bo means cow in the Irish language. So she is the little cow or she's also called the fair cow. So she's known as this illuminated goddess that when we connect with her, we feel and see our own illumination. She's also connected. I like to think of her as the rebel goddess because she went to a place that she was where women weren't allowed to go to this sacred well, to her husband's well, basically. And she went there and peered into the water of the well in this forbidden place. And as she did so, it caused the water apparently to surge up and flow out and it created the River Boyne which is a river in Ireland's ancient east. And it hugs and caresses all the ancient sacred sites, which are all on one side of the River Boyne. And it's said that the River Boyne, her river, named after her, Bowen's River, um, is the boundary line between this world and the other world. And I just love that because all the ancient sites that are over 5,000 years old are all on the other world side of the river. And her house, her home that was built for her is Newgrange, which in Irish is called Bru Neboina. So it's connected to her through the language, through her name. And it means the womb of Bowen or the mansion of Bowen. Because from her womb came new life and her son, Angus Oag, which then is another story. The stories just just continue that I just love her energy. I feel it as quite maiden-ish, playful, rebellious. She's in her power. She's living her life to the full with her mm. golden hair and, you know, this beautiful energy that she brings. Oh, I want more of her. How can we, <laughs> how can we adopt her, her ways and embody her, her nature? Mm. For me, I, I feel, really feel this connection to, well, first of all, her, her mansion, her palace, which represents the different cycles of life because inside of Newgrange is where the stone carvings of the spirals are 
actually on the entrance stone is where the triple spiral is carved into these stones. And then at the very back of Newgrange um, of the chamber, there's the triple spiral as well. But also I feel the the fluidity of her by connecting to water, the elemental of water mm. and the river. So to connect with her, it's allowing her magic, her energy, her stories to flow through you, to flow through you free and undammed so that then you can share what wants, what she wants to voice through you. I'm saying that to everyone now, not just you. Yeah, you, know, you, and you, you and you and you and you. <laughs> <laughs> and what I'm seeing is, you know, this river, this river of abundance, like that it, once you tune into it, uh, there's there's no obstructions. Right. And it's like I feel like we have that within us. And if we ch can channel Bowen and we can tune into her, we can we can embody that that river of abundance as well. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And connecting to the cow, to the and sacred to the cow. cow. Yeah, absolutely. As, as the mother that feeds her young, her calves. Yes. She's very much linked to gentle cow and all that she brings as well. Love, love cow so, so deeply. Yeah. Beautiful. Did you have a story that you wrote that is, <laughs> was channeled <laughs> through you. <laughs> Didn't Bowen use you? <laughs> yes, yes. And I said, her, yes. her amazingness. Yeah, absolutely. And what I really love to do is to, I love to delve into the myths. Like there's so many different stories in Irish mythology that was an oral lore and that was seen as the law as well. And eventually in the um, in the early centuries, it was written down by Christian monks, actually. So we may not have had the stories, but for them writing them. What I like to do is to read the stories and then create and write my version that feels resonant for me in these times. So what I'm saying is that this is my version with using poetic license but using threads of the th truth, threads of the truth as well. <laughs> it's kind of hard to say in your <laughs> Irish, threads of the truth. <laughs> so here it is. Goddess Bowen, goddess of the river Boyne. I am Bowen, goddess of the ancient river Boyne. I am part of the Tuha de Danon, that tribe that worshipped the land of Ireland. My river has seen many a celebration, many a journey, and many a battle over the centuries. I am the illuminated cow. The rising and setting sun casts his glorious rays across my body, caressing the land where I walk. I am the great seer with a visionary gift of sight. I am great fertile and earthly mother. I am white, bright river. I am the primordial goddess of land and sea, and the wisdom-giving cow is attributed to me. I am archetypal feminine river goddess. At the source of my river is a sacred well, now called Trinity Well. The water of the well cures failing eyesight, it is said. My waters ebb and flow as a tidal river flowing out into the Irish Sea. It is the boundary between this world and the other world. So I, Bowen, am of the other world and I am really out of this world. <laughs> I am the free spirited goddess. I go with the flow of my desires. I had an illicit union, so the stories say, with sun god Dagda, the mighty Dagda, who is the builder of my home, my mansion. Our union was so powerful that we caused the sun to stand still in the winter sky at winter solstice. And nine months later, I gave birth to Angus Og, my beautiful son. So I am rebel goddess. And when I stared into my husband Necton's well, the well of Segish, 
I cause the waters to flow forth and flood the land so that my river would flow through, meander around the land forevermore. So I, Bowen, I created the River Boyne and I am awakening these watery rebel goddess powers within you too. I, Bowen, am cosmic. My rivers flow from heaven to earth. So I want to remind you of the gold within you, of the water that flows through your body. And my message today is to go with your flow. <laughs> so beautiful. Oh. I'm just taking notes here because just the words, Emer, are just so, so gorgeous. And the imagery is just so beautiful. And as you're reading, I just, you know, here's another way. Here's another way to embody our prosperity. Here's another way to embody our gold. It's like to just poetry, to write poetry, to, to read poetry, to be read to, you know, just simple, simple acts of beauty, you know. Um, wow. Yeah. Well, Bowen, we will, we will go with the flow here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I love it. And I love reading. Yeah, you're so right. When, when I read these out in this way, it, it reminds you over and over of the power and the, the wealth that's within each one of us. It is beautiful. Yes. And I'm just so grateful right now for, to language for helping us to, you know, really portray what we're, we're seeing in our minds, what we're feeling in our bodies. How amazing is that? So yes, yes to poetry and storytelling yeah. which is what you're so fabulous at. So Emer, this has been amazing, amazing, amazing. I just, I, I'm in awe. I love, I love the simplicity of like returning to the earth, becoming one again with this beautiful elemental of gold and and that we have it in our blood who knew and we can continue to circulate it throughout and remind ourselves that we are gold that we are prosperous yes 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 any final final wishes or blessings for our participants of the retreat today I would say what's coming to mind is to allow. So this going with the flow for me very much represents an allowing. So allow what wants to flow through you to, to do that, honor that. And we're rewriting our story on a moment by moment basis. And we are the channels for that to happen. So let it flow, let it flow with that courage, with that support with that sister and brotherhood and witchyhood, <laughs> let it flow and sink back into the, the stories and the poetry because it's very much, um, well, for me, I feel like there's this revival going on and it's this reconnection to the ancient traditions. So sink back into those, those stories that call you and the gold that is awakening within you. Mm, so beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. And yes, we will open to that flow. We will allow. And yeah, because that's happening for a reason. We're being called for a reason. It, it is the just like the ancestors were calling you through the gold. Like whatever is piquing your interest, whatever it is that's really calling your soul and beckoning to you, that that's meant for you. So thank you again, Emer. Thank you everyone for coming and participating in this beautiful, beautiful conversation. And we will see you next time. Thank you so much. Bye. Bye.